Hey folks, welcome to this week's Fishing for Laughs. We had such a great time last week catching monster catfish on the James River. We didn't have time to get it all in on one show. So this week is part two of Monsters on the James. I gotta let you know, Jerry, tell us where we're at today. We're at El Rancho de Carroll with my buddies in the background here, my cows. I'll tell you, Art, that was a great show. There was no way we could show everything that Captain Neil got us into. Right. So, um, and we're here on the farm for one reason. You're not gonna outfish me on my farm pond, buddy, where I've got some monster cats. <laughs> kind of hanging out, though. We're kind of seeing what the weather's doing, hanging out under this king canopy. And uh, hopefully we'll get in some great fishing. Oh, real quick. You're about to see the opening that didn't make it last week because somebody didn't remember which month it was. <laughs> so stay tuned, you're gonna have a blast. This week's Fishing for Last. Fishing for Laughs, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey folks, welcome to this week's Fishing for Laughs. This week we're on the beautiful, the historic James River just outside of Richmond at Jordan Point Yacht Haven. We're right behind us, you'll notice we've got the Benjamin Harris Bridge, we're in here doing fishing for some killer giant catfish with our new best buddy, our new pal, Captain Neil Renoff. How you doing, buddy? You gonna Good. put us on to them. Earlier this morning, they've already caught a 61 pounder. We didn't, but we will. Cause we should have been here earlier, right. but. Folks, let me tell you what happened this morning real <laughs> quick. Most people start fishing around 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. Keep in mind, Jerry and I are stand up comedians. <laughs> we go to work at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Six o'clock in the morning to us, that's pretty much like giving a vampire a paper route because we're not going to be here. So we stroll into Marina right about the crack of 9 a.m. <laughs> so it's now 10 o'clock by the time we got set up. But this is going to be such a great day fishing here. We've got 194 rods and reels out. <laughs> we got cut bait on about yay big. We're We've fishing, got cut bait we fishing on. With? We're fishing with American shad. Gizzard shad. Gizzard shad. Gizzard shad. American shad are illegal to possess. Ill oh yeah, oh. let's point that out. That's illegal to possess. <laughs> We've got a lot of those too. <laughs> <laughs> So, folks, hang with us. We're getting, like I said, we've got all the rods out. It's just going to be a great, gorgeous day. Gorgeous day. It's supposed to be 83 degrees here in Richmond today. It's going to be beautiful. One of the warmest days of the year so far. Just for an update, it is the 5th of May, 5th, 6th of May. April. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to reshoot all the anyway. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> That's a fish. I don't know if it's as big as yours, but all right. Let me see what I need to do here. Yes. Talk to me, Neil. What am I going to need to do here? Uh, just keep reeling. And this is lucky number one. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, geez, the Louis, it was a stump. <laughs> was it? No. No. He was, was on there right to the point he was getting fixed to come yeah, out of the water. Was, oh, was he, he wasn't big enough to. Uh, wasn't big enough to get the hook in his butt. <laughs> he was just holding on to it. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was like your long. thumb. Oh, he's coming at me. Oh, he will be. He will be if you don't stop. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, he is still on. Oh man. All right, folks. Jerry got another one on here. We may actually be. Get up here. Get up here. We've got bedlam and pandemonium on the back of the Which boat. Which way? No, just keep, you just reel. I'm reel. Just keep reeling. We're looped now. Okay, he's coming. What do we got him a good fish? You're good. There. You're good. Keep going. Okay. Get this way. Get this way. Whoa, big boy. Get off that motor. Get off of that motor. Get off of there. We go. There we go. Anchor line. Uh, oh, yep. Anchor line. Get him out under the anchor line. Hold this in here. Oh, hell, he is on that anchor line. Oh, oh. He went right. That's my fault, I'm trying to get him out of these lines. Yeah, you ain't gonna worry about us. I'll move everything for you. Okay. He went wrapped right around that anchor line right there. Yeah. Ah! 
My fault, folks. Captain Neal was doing a good job. He said, watch anchor line, watch anchor line. What anchor line? Folks, while we're getting a new rig on, hooking another fish, what do you say? We'll take a quick commercial break so I can calm down and I don't cuss on camera. So we'll be right back after this quick commercial break for Fishing for Laughs. Jeez! Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, Captain Neil, he's busy re-rigging it there. I got it caught in an anchor line. And unlike most of the shows, I already caught a 57 pounder. I've got a couple of, a couple of them's gotten off and I lost and one. Don't and you forget it. Don't I, I ever forget, forget, it. forget it. It's on tape now. That's so right. Artie's wearing my good luck fishing hat right I will there. gladly trade you this hat <laughs> for that hat any day. But uh, yeah, we've got them back out. Man, this is a catfish hole right in here. Fishing for monsters on the James River, so. Stay tuned. We're put some lines out, and hopefully any minute now we'll uh, catch more fish. So, okay, Captain Neil, show us what we're doing here. How to snell a hook? Okay, we got this. Uh, like I said, eight odd Gamagatsu circle hook, sixty pound big game line. You make a loop. You go through the eye to where you have that, and simply you hold this pretty tight, and you just want to wrap, make real tight wraps down the shank of the hook. Make sure you wet the Wet spit. <laughs> Get it. Now you pull it. And you just pull it tight, snug. Now you done snell the hook. Now wow. if that was mama's spit, you don't have to wet it one time. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't have to tie a knot because you can fix anything with mama's now, spit. Yeah, mama's spit, it'll stay clean and wet both. That is amazing. Me and Artie just usually buy them snailed already. <laughs> That's why we go with guides like this that have patches on their shirts. Doing. That's right. right. Good deal. Really like Come on, baby. Get him, Art. Golly, Pete. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. On this side, on this side. Oh. Keep reeling. Yeah, believe oh. you me, watch the anchor rope. Let me get. He's got all the lines. The what? He's got all the lines. I'm hung up on all of them. Yep. How awesome is this going to be, boys? I uh, hung up all the way across. Thank <laughs> you, All right, you good? Come up. All right, keep going up. You don't oh, want to move anything, Neil? Keep going up. Keep cranking. All right, easy. Keep going easy now. Just... Easy. There you go. Nice and easy. Oh. Come yeah, on, I baby. You to get behind me and hold these. Both of them real good, just in case the fish does hit those. Right, right. I got you. I got you. Some extreme fishing here, we boys. Got, I tell you what, we you're got the luckiest. We got you're wind. the luckiest white man I've ever seen. Art, two huge Look fish. Look at that. All tangled up. Look at he oh. Got <laughs> he's got 15 lines in his mouth. He's Look at a, that. He's got his own net. He's. <laughs> <laughs> He wrapped him up like a package. Free Willy. <laughs> Free Willy. He's got every single line. Well, he don't have the two I've got. Look at that, boys. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> this was, this extreme fishing, 430 mile an hour winds now. Look at that monster. Bite the fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why you grab me? Huh? I'm just making sure you didn't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Well, folks, Artie has done it again. He's caught another 50 pound catfish while I was, he's always on the right side of the boat to get the right reel, man. Well, I just want to make sure we got the boat, got the fish in the boat this time. But unfortunately, he crossed about four lines doing it, but that's okay. Our captain, Captain Neil, folks, if you ever want to go catch monsters on the James, Captain Neil Runoff is the man in this, uh, Old Dominion Outdoors, isn't it, Captain Neil? OldDominionOutdoors.com. OldDominionOutdoors.com. We'll have all the information into the show. I tell you what, why don't we take a quick commercial break while uh, Captain Neil's getting all these lines off of this fish? Looks like you needed him, Mark. <laughs> Folks, I tell you what, now, like we said earlier, look at Like we said earlier, this is extreme fishing right, right. here. We're oh. in the middle of the James River, 30 mile an hour winds right now. And then an and upset 50 pound <laughs> catfish. <laughs> so stay right with us. We'll be right back with more fishing for laughs.
Let me tell you something, folks. You... <laughs> Jesus. I Larry. have been assaulted. You know what? This is Larry. almost like stuff you would see with digital cameras. This is real. This is not you special can't, effects. This you is can't real. Make this up, folks. All right. You ready? All right, I've got it. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine! Yes. <laughs> Fifty-nine pounds. The boy has caught a hundred and <laughs> some odd pounds of fish. A hundred and sixteen pounds of fish with two fish. Try and get him here. Alright, don't lose your thumb. We can just let this one out. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna slide this one off the back. We don't need to display him for the masses. Oh, let me get his tail up for you. There you go. What can I help you with? Ready? Yeah. yeah, got him out of the net. Look at that fish right there, folks. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. This is fish in the James River. 30 Monsters mile. of the James. John, 30 yeah. mile an hour winds. We have had a great trip. Let's get this thing back in the water. Let Jared catch one now. <laughs> at least let him lose another one. Yeah, way to go, Artie. Look at Look that at monster. <laughs> My wife ain't gonna believe I've actually been. It's got his thumb again. No way. No. There he goes. Yeah. Look, there he goes. He's still mad. Great job, Neil. Good Thank Lord. So I'm going to tell you, boy. You yeah. Made you, this. Unbelievable. Folks, we saw this gentleman at, in Greensboro yep, at the at Saltwater Freshwater Fishing Expo, and I saw the pictures of the fish he had, and there was no way I could believe this. Well, believe it, this is not digital trick photography. This is 59 and 57 pound catfish. Wow. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this man. This is better than telling jokes any day. You got that right. <laughs> Whew. I'm going to give out and I didn't even catch one. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, geez. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Come at you. Let me get back here. I don't tell me that. He popped off. He popped off. He popped off. He did. What in the hell is going on? This is what Art usually does. He is practicing catch and release today, boys. Golly, Pete! Art's the man! <laughs> and he was big, too. I can tell he just. <laughs> that was a good fish, I think. How did I lose him? <laughs> Look at there. <laughs> yeah, switch hats I'll with switch me. Hats with Didn't I tell you what a great day of fishing that was on the James River? We want to give a special thanks to Captain Neil Renoff, Old Dominion Outdoors. We just couldn't have asked for a better day of fishing, could we? You couldn't ask for a better day. <laughs> I think Neil loved you more than me. 57 and 59 pounder and that kind of baby. But you're not going to outfish me at El Rancho de Carolo here, buddy. I'll tell you that right now. This is my little honey hole full of my catfish. There you go. So, man, what a beautiful place, huh? Oh, this is great. Look at Uncle Clinton's place right there. Some of y'all remember from Uncle Clinton from one of our shows. A crappy day of crappy, a crappy fishing. A crappy day of day. crappy fishing. And this is, that's a whole lot better than where I grew up. I'll tell you what. I'd love to tell that story. Matter of fact, let's go to that. That'll be this week's comedy bit of the week. Kid you not, I grew up, my first job ever was cutting grass in a mobile home park. Y'all, I don't consider those things a park. Disneyland's a park. Hell, south of the border's a park. 85 single wide mobile homes on four acres of land is not a park. It's more like tornado fantasy camp. <laughs> Saw my cousin the other day had his mobile home hooked to the truck. I was like, Steve, are you moving? He said, no, I'm just going to the beach. <laughs> Didn't feel like packing. <laughs> lazy, lazy, lazy. I love my cousin. I feel bad for the guy. Though. I make fun of him a lot, but he's going through a divorce right now. And seriously, y'all, it's a shame to see two rednecks who used to be in love fight over the possessions of a single-wide mobile home. 
I didn't know two people could love a stuffed deer head so much. But luckily there were six on the wall, so everything was cool. Make fun of the guy, he tried to convince his wife he wanted to get married at Bass Pro Shops up in Concord. Anybody ever been at Bass Pro Shops? You know what I'm talking about? That is a redneck Taj Mahal, ain't it? I love that place. She finally talked him out of it. Can you imagine that wedding though? All of a sudden you got some six foot four redneck in a camouflage tuxedo. His wife walking down the aisle in a blaze orange wedding dress. Got on some skeeter net as a veil coming down. After the wedding, out in the parking lot, they let doves out and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Art, I just love that story. That's not a park. <laughs> South of the border's a park. That, that is a great story. That's I, true life, too, folks. That's true life. That is us. Hey, folks, I tell you what. We've got our poles in the water now. We've got us some good gulp nightcrawler power baits on. See if we can't catch us some catfish. So what do you say while we're trying to catch some? Take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Hey, folks, welcome back. Uh, we got our poles in the water. We got us some good gulp bait on here, and I think I've got one messing with mine, Art. I think I do too. Yeah, well, they keep messing with it over here. We got some pretty nice channel cats, a few flatheads, and there he there is. There he is, Jerry. And I got him, I believe. Whoa, yeah. All righty. This is not a very big one. He's kind of small. He's puny. Well, I don't know. He might have just been fooling with me. Woo. I'm gonna tell you what. Maybe I was wrong. Dude, Maybe look. he was. Maybe he was running for the boat. <laughs> These little pond fish and Jerry's over here, they ain't messing around. They're not. I'm going to tell you what. This is all right. Look at here, Art. Wow. Now, this is mine and Art's kind of fishing. Darn. <laughs> Look at that, boy. We're, we're fishing with just He's like, hey, light, fairly light tackle. I'm in a quarter acre pond. There's only so far I can go. <laughs> with corks. With corks. And some lead and some circle hooks, barbless circle hooks. Remember that? I got him. Oh. I, okay, I don't got it. If Jerry falls in the lake, I win all the prizes. Okay, I got his. I got, oh, he got off. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't count. Oh, look at that, boy. All right, don't let him get in the tree stump. I'm... Whee! That's a fish, boy. Now, that don't count. Mine didn't come on shore, but he was big, <laughs> folks. This one's going all the way across this 50-foot pond. That's right. Look at that. <clears throat> we call yeah. this the grandma and the grandkids oh, cool, pond because boy. that's who fishes at all times, grandma and the grandkids. Wear him out now. Just take your time. Wear him out? Where do I come in? Boy, I'm going to tell you what. You can come down here and catch him all day, every day like this. I just haven't been telling you about That's it. That's right. You keep this to yourself, <laughs> buddy. Look at this. Look at it. Pretty nice. Oh, that's a right boy. Now that is a, hey, now. That's a beautiful channel cat right there. Marvelous hook. Boy, they don't play around with them hooks, do uh, they? Oh. Holy cow. Turn the camera on. <laughs> I told you, big boy, I'm going to wait. There you it out. is, right there. Jerry got one. In. You might have a little bit of a home field advantage wow. here, pal. They know me. Yeah. They love you. I don't know if I'm going to get this bad boy to shore or not. <laughs> you want a net there, Sparky? Yeah, you better get a net. Uh, I'm worried something's going to drag me. Listen money. to that. Hey, oh. my, get him, Art. <laughs> oh, my. He almost oh, oh, he got off. This is chaos. <laughs> I almost lost a brand new pole. I hurt my back. <laughs> oh. Look at this. Oh, my. You hurt your back. back. <laughs> Art's getting injured. Trying to <laughs> my back. <laughs> You'll never be able to get this fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make sure that one took my bait. <laughs> use this as a cane. I'm gonna bring him to you. Hold on. Wow. Oh. 
This might be a pretty good fish, I think. <laughs> I really think that'll rip the hook <laughs> off my pole. <laughs> you you did. did. You broke the hook. Here we go, Art. Oh! <laughs> what did I tell you about? <laughs> Gracious. Look at this. Look at that fish. Look at this fish. What did I tell you about ripping the lips off of uh, I was trying to save a new $50 pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, man. That's nice. That's a nice fish. I need a hook. You need, yeah, let me, uh, hold on. I got him. Look at that fish, folks. That's what happens right here. El Rancho de Carroll. El Rancho de Carroll. You know, I think Jerry had a fish call. Some of our buddies are going to be looking and going, why is he putting a glove on? I'll tell you why I put a glove on. Because he's a girl. Yeah, because I saw what happened to Captain Neil's thumb. <laughs> Not to mention, these boys have got barbs. We're using barbless hooks. Look at that. Woo! He ain't, he ain't 57 pounds, but. No, you still got 51 more pounds to I got go. about 50 more pounds to add to it. Oh, my God. There we go. Art hurt himself. <laughs> How sad is that? Hey, Artie, watch this. What are you doing? Chiming. <laughs> <laughs> You know where I come from, some people might consider that cheap. Yeah, well, you know, if I spend $30 a month feeding them, I'm going to be able to catch them. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we hope you've had as good a time this week on Fishing for Laughs as we have. We want to give a special thank you to Captain Neil Renoff, Old Dominion Outdoors, such a great guide, took us on the James River, 59, 57, and a little fish. A little baby 30 a little pounders. Baby fish. And but then we had some great fishing here. So folks, as always, life short. Take a friend fishing.